Hey everyone, Ishnatol here again. This time I'm going to teach a little bit about upgrading your artifact and relic armor. As you can see here on my dancer, it looks like I've got two pieces of artifact armor on, but if you actually examine me, you'll see that in fact I've got a item level 109 headpiece and a item level 119 body piece which uh, they used to be artifact, but now they've been reforged. Currently, you can reforge both uh, artifact armor and relic armor. The steps for doing it is the same for both. Relic armor has a couple extra strap, a, a couple extra steps. Maybe. It really depends on what you want to do. So, I'll go through a piece of relic armor that I want to upgrade. Right? I've got... My cleric's Brie alt here, right? It's level 74, it's for white mage, and um, it's relic, so I'm going to upgrade it. Now, I've already talked to the NPC. So you can see here in the middle, I asked about the piety Brie alt, which is what it's going to become. And it requires a couple of things. First, it requires a cleric's Brie alt plus two, a sparkling stone, and a spool of Malbro fiber. Um, so here's the thing about upgrading, is that it requires the item itself, which in this case, it would require the Cleric's pre And then it requires a job-specific item. For White Mage, it's the Sparkling Stone. And it also requires a uh, spot-specific item, which in this case is the Marlboro fiber, right? Every body piece uses the Marlboro fiber to go from base to 109. Now, Artifact has never been able to be reforged at all, right? I mean, there is, you could plus one it. Um, but all that that's going to change is how many uh, chapters you need. And I'll get into chapters in a second. But those are the three things that you need, uh, aside from chapters. Now, with Relic, there's a couple extra steps. Because you could go to a Magian Moogle, Moogle and get your Relic made into a plus two and then augment it on top of that. And you can also just plus one it through your regular uh, Limbus stuff. So, there's a whole bunch of tiers of stuff that's needed. So, away from that. So as you see here, which it's at the top there, it says, um, if it's a plus two with the augment, you only need five copies of Rem's Tale Chapter 2. If it's a regular real plus two, you need ten copies of Rem's Tale Chapter Two. If you have the plus one version of the Cleric's pre alt, then it require they require a um, Montiant Silver piece as well as ten copies of Rem's Tale Chapter Two. And if it's a regular Cleric's pre alt like I have, then it's two. Montiant silver pieces. So that's the general formula. Is if you have a regular piece of relic, it costs the chapters and two 100 pieces of ancient currency, depending upon the piece. If it's a plus one, it's ten chapters and one 100 piece. If it's a plus two, it's just ten chapters. If it's a plus two augmented, it's just five chapters. Relatively simple. I'm not gonna do that. Um, A, not many people are selling Montiant silver pieces, and B, I need those for a relic weapon, so I'm not gonna use them. Instead, I'm going to upgrade my Cleric's Brie Alt into a Cleric's Brie Alt plus two, which, just going from a straight one to two, or going from a straight normal quality to a two, um, you need 50 Forgotten Hopes. 
Easy. It's also cheaper than two silver pieces. So if you've got a piece of relic, make sure you pay that in mind. Uh, if you want to know where to get all the Forgotten's from, they drop from various dynamuses. You can usually get 10 to 20 on a run. Right? And if you've never done Magian before, you just go over to the crate, trade the item with the trial on it, as well as what you need, and it'll say, Yay, you're done! So, yay, I'm done! So I'll go back. Party. Trade. Trade that Brielt back, and now I will have my plus two. So there's my regular... And now I can be a better white mage, because... Now it's... Plus two'd. So there you go. That's that bit. Okay. So now I've got my armor to the point where I want it. Now I need to go and actually get it reforged. So I've... touched on the chapters a little bit. Let me, uh, let me explain a little bit more about those. There are... Rem's Tales. And they go from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 10. So if I go to, uh... Southern Sandoria near the entrance here, there's a spark stealer I can show you all the different chapters that there are. Uh, chapters 1 through 5 are for reforging to 109. Chapters 6 through 10 are for reforging to 119. Now this is the same for artifact or relic. And when they put Imperium in, which they said they are, I suspect it would be the same. So it'll be under items, and then you see the copy of Rem's Tale, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Notice 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 cost more than 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's a very good reason for this, the reason being 109 versus 119. You need 10 of the Rem's Tales, chapters 1 through 5, and you need 8 of the Rem's Tales, chapters 6 through 10. Now, these are all corresponding to a specific slot, as well as the slot crafting item, right? Whereas this is the body, body will always use chapter 2 and chapter 7. And for 2, it will always use a Marlboro fiber. So, that's, you know, they put those in the, uh, belonging campaign for that specific reason. That way you don't have to buy them, you can just get them. All of the other, uh, chapters are for other ones, so it's in order, it's head, body, hands, legs, and feet. Same with 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. With head, body, hands, legs, and feet. Those are Rem's Tales. Now, other than Sparks, Sparks are the slow way to get them, but the painless way. The Sparks, you can just kind of get anywhere. The fast way to get the uh, papers 1 through 5 are to do Sacred Kindred Quest, Sacred Kindred Crest NMs, SKCNMs. There's only seven or eight battlefields for those. And those battlefields will give everyone uh, some of those when you complete them. And then there will be some in the treasure pool as well. So it's actually not bad at all to get those. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 are from the other high-tier difficulty fights. Right? So, like, the, um, Archangels are good for getting your 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The, uh, upgraded Divine Might. 
the upgraded Tenzin, the upgraded all of those new high tier battlefields. That's beyond the scope of this video to um, talk about those. But they're there. That's where you will get them from. So, over here, Sekira is who you talk to for Limbus and upgrading artifact armor and relic armor to plus one. Monaset is who we talk to for reforging. So if I'll talk to Monaset, talk and you can ask about either artifact or relic equipment. And it's listed in terms of attire, right? In terms of job. Though they don't specifically come out and say, this is warrior, this is monk, this is, you know, etc, etc, etc. Um, you just kind of have to go, okay, well, which one is this? Look, look, look. Oh, this is this. Okay. Uh, the information's all out there on wikis as well, the FF Encyclopedia and BG Wiki. Um, those are great, quick resources if you want to just see, okay, what item do I need when you're out doing stuff. But, this is where I go, Piety, and I can choose whether I want my regular or my plus one. I can also look at the artifact, which is the Theophany armor, for White Mage at least. I can see the real. See again, because it's a plus one, you only need five copies of that chapter. Same chapter, same fiber. Now, the job piece has changed. It's Imperial Silk Cloth, but every piece of the Theophany to go up to IO9 will use Imperial Silk Cloth. And if it's a regular, it needs 10 copies, and that's what it ends up looking like. So once you get all the items that you need, all you have to do is trade them to her. So you come in and you say, here's my Briolt, here's my Sparkling Stone, here's my Fiber, and here are my 10 chapters. Take them. She goes, okay, thank you. Then you wait. This is where the waiting game begins. And you can check out stuff while while you're waiting. Um, you can only trade one at a time, unless they've changed that. And you won't actually get your new armor back until a uh, game day has passed. So, see if I if I did this four in-game hours ago. Then, as soon as that hits, f well, yeah, if it were four in games hours ago, um, then I would be able to get my armor right now. And it's your standard, the day has changed, trigger. So, I have to wait 21 in game hours, but you can also do it where you wait two in game minutes. I've done that before, that's fun. And you get your armor, and you wear it, and you go, Yay, I got my armor! And then you do a dance. Like this. Dance, 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 dance. So, that's how you get your uh, artifact armor and relic armor reforged. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of stuff that I kind of glossed over. Like, all the other jobs, what all the job-specific items are, etc., etc. But, those are all on the wiki. Check them out. Also, depending upon what your job is, just find it here in the list uh, from Monoset. And you'll be able to see what the armor looks like, you'll be able to plan out what everything will look like, what you'll get from it all. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see it. They walk you through it pretty well. It's just knowing that that's where she is, is the kind of kicker. Um, also, on that note, I'll do this real quick run. Tata Hikaru, huh? <clears throat> I, I guess if you want your character to be the name of a famous singer, it's not up to me to judge.
So down here, hiding. Is this Obero guy? Right. If you talk to him, you can get. You can talk about these items here. So here's the great axe, the 119 job-specific great axe. Right. And he'll tell you exactly what you need for him. which all of them require 150 either Plutons, Baitetsu, or Riftborn Boulders. Up to you which one you want. It's not like the other where they make you choose, or where they tell you, no, it's this for your Relic Armor. You know, like for White Mage, I had no choice. It was only Silver Pieces. But here, well, I've got some Baitetsu lying around. Here you go. Right? And these are actually relatively good items, too. Um, magic attack bonus 20 on that staff for Black Mage. That's a great item right there. Right? I believe this is the White Mage one here, which it's not bad for attacking. But if you're a White Mage, why are you attacking? Well, so well, but still. You can pretty much see all of them and what they require down there. Something Dark Steel, something Chahutsi, or however you pronounce that. One other random thing to kind of base it off of. So there you have it. That's your upgrading, your reforging. Like I said, I glossed over some stuff. But, you can figure it out through the menus uh, and see what's all up there. So, until next time, hope to see you in Vanadeel.